What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6 for the latest PlayStation 4 update 11.52. You might be getting this error so I'm going to show you what to do to basically fix this. If you're one of the lucky few who's watching this video before you did the update, basically you see in your notification and you see like it says update downloaded but not installed. Do not install it from here. Just delete the file, literally right click into it, delete it or not right click into it, press options, delete it. And then we're going to go basically next step on what to do. You want your PlayStation 4 completely turned off. So basically do what I'm doing here. Don't do power off. Don't do sleep. I mean, sleep mode, sorry, dress mode, whatever. You want it powered off like how I just did right now. And then you want these white light over here that's flashing to completely stop before we move on to the next step, which is basically going into safe mode. That's what we are going to do in this video. And we're going to install it from there. So once this stops, we're going to enter into safe mode and I'm going to show you how to enter into it so you guys can follow me step by step so you can make this error essentially go away. So let's just let it stop. It's still flashing. All right, stop. So you hold on to it until you hear two beeps. My PlayStation does not make any beeps. So I'm going to let go after eight seconds. That's basically the time frame you hold on to it. So now so you let go about give or take eight seconds it, essentially two beeps happen by then again if your if your thing makes noise good enough so you, now you can see i'm in safe mode safe mode connect the dual shock 4 using the usb cable and then press the playstation button so as you can see i have my playstation controller i have the usb cable connected to the controller so you're going to basically have this and the d uh, analog stick doesn't work it's the d-pad so just an fyi you're gonna have to use the d-pad to navigate in here the first thing i want you to do is press option number five and rebuild the database this could take a few hours or it could take a few minutes it usually takes me a few minutes it's just depending on how messed up your database is so do this first come back after it's done into safe mode basically do those same steps again then go into option number three and do update using internet you'll see even though i am updated I can still do another update again, which is fine. This is a lot of folks, if you're having in general a lot of errors from with the PlayStations, doing this fixes a lot of those issues. If you can have a Ethernet cable connected to your PlayStation 4, please do so, and then do the update from here. If not, Wi-Fi is fine, but it would be preferable to do it via an Ethernet cable. Essentially, do the update from here. It'll literally do the update again. Your console should be good to go and not have the error persist any longer. If this does not work, you want to then do option one, which is update from USB storage device. This is literally going to, I have a video on this. I will leave it in the description below. You're literally going to take a USB device. I think eight gigs is sufficient. You're going to put this actual update on the USB device from PlayStation's website directly, put it into your console, come back to this screen and then press that. It's not going to work right now, but if you press that, you're going to basically install it from that. That should avoid any error because you have downloaded it from your computer and you're not downloading the update from PlayStation. A lot of times the, that diverts the error. If that doesn't work, we're going to do option six, which is going to suck, but this is going to delete everything off of your console. Sadly, all users, all games, etc., and save files. The sucky part is the save file piece because you don't want the save files gone. You can always redownload the game and log back in PSN, right? Save files that matter. So that's going to get deleted as well. So this is one of the sucky options. And if that that doesn't work the last option is very similar but the only difference is you're going to reinstall it via a usb storage device i will leave a video link description for this as well basically the same thing but with a storage usb storage device so you're going to put the that download again in a storage device put it into the console come back to the screen press ok and let it install reinstall from here so yeah that's basically it if you guys are this video please smash that like when i was out guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe click that notification button on that we're coming out peace